Today I have made a video from the bio and organic chemistry and this is video is especially about the iron sulfur proteins. What are that and especially about the peridoxin. Peridoxin is an example of the iron sulfur proteins and what are iron sulfur proteins? These are the non-heme proteins. It means these proteins possess iron but the iron is not present in the form of heme. It means there is no heme group present. The non-heme proteins or the iron sulfur proteins are of two types one is the that act as the catalyst such as the hydrogenase enzyme and another are the electron transfer proteins it means when they are involved in the electron transfer reactions or they act as the electron carriers or as the redox center the two important example of such type of proteins are the peridoxin and the rubridoxin out of which this peridoxin is very important. In this type of proteins, the iron atom is bound by the sulfur atom and the sulfur atoms are of two types. One is the inorganic sulfide. It means this inorganic sulfide when the, these sulfide groups are act as the bridge between the iron atoms and another are the sulfur atoms from the cysteine residues and this provides the tetrahedral geometry to the iron atoms. So firstly we look at the general structure and property of the rubridoxin. Then we will come to the peridoxin. So rubridoxin is the simplest type of the iron sulfur protein that is found in the bacteria and it is denoted as Fe1 S0. Now what is this means S0? Fe1 means there is one iron atom present but this S0 it means there is no sulfide, inorganic sulfide group present. There is sulfur atom that are from the cysteine residues. But there is no sulfide, inorganic sulfide groups that act as the bridge that is not present in this case. So it is a single Fe tetrathiolate protein. If we look out its structure, it has a disordered tetrahedron structure. The iron is presented in each cluster. The iron is presented in the center of a disordered tetrahedron and the four sides are four sides are occupied by the four sulfur atoms of the cysteine residues and there is no acid labile sulfide or the inorganic sulfide group is not present here. Now if we look the function of the rubridoxin, it acts as the one electron donor or acceptor and it also participates. Its uh, functions are not properly known, but most probably it participated in the fatty acid omega hydroxylation. Now we study about the feridoxin. The feridoxins are of three types, 2Fe2S type, another is 3Fe4S type and the most important one is the 4Fe4S type feridoxin. So firstly see the simplest one that is Fe2S2 feridoxin or it can be also written as 2Fe2S feridoxin. In this 2Fe means there are two iron atoms present and 2S means there are two labile sulfide atoms are present or two inorganic sulfides are present. It is also known as the plant feridoxin and it is very acidic protein. If we look at its structure, there are two iron atoms, two iron centers and each iron is tetrahedrally coordinated. Now these two irons are linked together, bridged by the two two acidic sulfides or labile sulfides. These are the inorganic sulfides. And the each iron is also linked to the two sulfur atoms of the cysteine residue. So it completes its tetrahedral coordination. Each iron is completing its tetrahedral co coordination by coordinating with these two sulfur atoms of the cysteine residues. Now if we see the iron iron distance in the iron plus 3, iron plus 3, it will be approximately 269 picometer. Now, this feridoxin will exist in the two redox state. One with the both iron in the plus 3 oxidation state and another. One iron in plus 3 state and another iron in the plus 2 oxidation state. So, it can shuttle between two oxidation states via one electron transfer. This state is also known as the all ferric oxidized state and in this state 
both the iron sides are anti ferromagnetically coupled what is meant by this anti ferromagnetically coupled it means the each iron is possessing five unpaired electrons and the spin of these electrons will be adjusted such that the spin of the electrons of the one iron are opposite to the spin of the electrons of the other iron so we can say that the effective spin will be zero and hence this oxidation state this oxidized state of aridoxin will be epr silent another important type of fe2s2 protein that has been found is the riscase protein and it is isolated from the mitochondria and it is involved in the electron transfer reaction one of the important difference in it is that in this case these two non sulfur groups are attached two non sulfur ligands are attached to the iron this is the important difference that has been found in the case of riscase protein now we comes to the 3fe4s or fe3s4 type of ferredoxin in this case you can see there are three iron atoms present and s4 means there are four inorganic or the acid labile sulfides are present this type of ferredoxin was firstly isolated from the anaerobic nitrogen fixing bacteria like azobacter mineraldi and this cluster has the apo fe thiocuban structure this structure will like that these are the three iron atoms and all three are visited by this sulfur this is present in center and while both the two any of the two irons are visited by the sulfide these are the acid labile sulfides and these are visited by them and these are the sulfur from the cysteine residues that are attached to each iron atom so this is the apo thiocuban structure in the oxidized form of this ferredoxin that will be epr active in this case all the iron will be in the plus 3 oxidation state so this is the important difference from the fe2s2 protein that it is the epr active the oxidized form here is epr active another the most important type of the ferredoxin is the 4fe4s type or fe4s4 ferredoxin in this case there are four iron atoms and the four acid labile sulfides this type of ferredoxin is found to be involved in the numerous electron transfer reactions and it has the basically the thiocuban structure if we look at the structure the one cluster will be like that in this the iron atoms the four iron will occupy the alternative corners of a cubic this structure is a cubic structure and these four iron atoms will occupy the four alternative corners of the cube and the rest corners will be occupied by the four labile sulfide these are the acid labile sulfide ions or inorganic sulfide so the four corners will occupy by these and each iron is also linked to the sulfur of the cysteine residue these are the four different sulfur of the cysteine residues if we look at the redox state the oxidized state will possess the two iron in the plus 3 state and two iron in the plus 2 state and there will be anti ferromagnetic coupling so the total spin will be equal to 0 and hence this oxidation state this oxidized state will be epr silent it means it will not give any spectra in the signal in the epr spectroscopy the reduced state will possess one iron in the plus 3 oxidation state and the three irons in the plus 2 oxidation state and the spin value total spin value will be here half so this state will be epr active so if we see the different oxidation state different states of this type of ferredoxin that will be fe4s4 in plus 3 another is fe4s4 plus 2 and another is fe4s4 plus so the fe4s4 cluster will settle between these three different oxidation states in this state the three irons are in plus 3 oxidation state and the one iron is in plus 2 oxidation state in this case the two irons are in plus 3 and two irons are in plus 2 oxidation state and this will be called oxidized ferredoxin and in this state 
वन आयरन इज इन प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एंड थ्री आयरन आर इन प्लस टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एंड दिस विल बी कॉल्ड द रिड्यूस्ड फेरिडोक्सिन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दैट आई फाउंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द डिफरेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स फ्रॉम द फेरिडोक्सिन थैंक यू